Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks of you. Today we're viewing this Tropical Rhythms drink and this one is going to be on the Fruit Punch which is a fruit drink made with mango, guave and other fruit juices from Concentrate. So, yes, I found this out of a random corner shop and yes, you probably have guessed it, it's yet again another copy and another brand to Clipso. So here we are just with similar drinks to store copying clips again as so many companies seem to be doing now these days. Anyway, so yes, I found it in a random corner shop. I've seen these kind of for a little while now, actually, but I've started to pick up one and see how they go and see how they uh, see how they taste. But yeah, they literally are the same thing as the Clipso drinks. I can't remember how much it was as the prices on the top. It was £1.79 on the top there, £1.79. So yeah, I guess hell of a lot cheaper than what like a Clipso is or would be. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a cheaper brand and the Clipso is all imported. So, you know, they're going to be more expensive anyway. But yeah, £1.79 on the top there so let's give you guys a 460 of the jar so this is a 475 mil jar so a bit of a weird size but literally we've got the kind of you know it's, it's fairly good size to grab we've got the yellow cap on the top which says tropical rhythms and then there said so we just got a label here with some fruits on the front the tropical rhythms logo and then just some you know sugar and ingredient stuff on the back so really simple label but yeah that's pretty much it to the drink taking a closer look at the jar so like i said uh grace tropical rhythms uh fruit punch so looking on the ingredients seeing what we actually have in the drink so we have mango puree concentrate 2.3 percent guava puree concentrate 2 percent pineapple concentrate 1.8 percent orange concentrate 1.6 lime juice 1.3 and passion fruit concentrate 0 0.1 so i think that is correct to what's on the front of the of the uh, uh jar label i think that is pineapple mango yep so literally it's all from concentrate so it's not even got real actual real juice in it it's on concentrate and of course it has a hell of a lot of sugar because of the fruit juices it has 13 no sorry it has 10 grams of sugar per 100 ml but apart from that yeah there's nothing else interesting on the on the on the can or label uh interestingly though it is a product of jamaica i said even though it's manufactured for a kind of english you know english company is a product of Jamaica, which is fair enough. Anyway, so let's give it a good shake. It's nice and cold. I have got a cup and uh, hopefully it won't explode over me. So I'm hoping this does taste nice. It'll probably taste of, well, I don't know, pineapple or orange or something, but we'll have to find out. All right, that's a good enough shake. So let's let it settle a little bit. That's probably gonna explode everywhere. I don't trust that. So I know we can see the color. I always pour drinks into a cup just for extra clarity. Now it does say, uh, yeah, so it, it's one of these pop-up, pop-up things. So let's uh, pray it doesn't go everywhere. There, oh, there we go. That was good. Right, and the colour, <laughs> say the colour is, but the colour is clearer. Hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favourites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks, guys. There we go. Put that to one side. So, of course, it's not fizzy because it's loaded of fruit juice, as you know. But literally, it's certainly red in colour. And I wouldn't say it's, no, it's not orange. It's definitely red. It's certainly not, you know, like a bright red or, you know, a bright orange. But uh, for the most part, yeah, it's just a reddish, reddish colour. Now... I'm trying to see where it's got bits in it. Let me grab my light. I'm assuming it has got bits because of the uh, puree. Bomb it's really uh, condensed, as in you literally cannot see the light through it whatsoever. Even when I put the light up there or the light behind, it's really uh, oops, happened to this light. It's oops, just gone off. There we go. It's uh, yeah, it's really, really condensed. So I don't think there is bits. I mean, it does say puree, but I'm trying to honestly figure out. I think I can see a few small bits in there on the top. On my eyesight but for the most part you know it's puree so it's gonna have a few bits in it anyway so let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of it smells of just a mix of smells i'm trying to i can kind of smell i think i could smell the pineapple a little bit 
and then somehow just a load of other smells mashed in together which is you know how it should smell like because yeah it is literally a whole mix of smells so yeah it just smells i know it sounds a bit silly but yeah it does smell like fruit punch or a tropical mix or a exotic blend which generally smell more on the pineapple side but to be fair this one does like i did say so well nevertheless let's uh, try some Okay, hmm. So straight away, I will say, this is definitely not like Clipso. Clipso is definitely more like water-based juice. This has actually got some decent thickness to it, to be fair for what the drink is. It's not thin and watery, like, you know, some other ones are, like the Tropical Vibes, for example. But this actually has got a bit of thickness to it. In a way, it's almost like, I don't say it's a smoothie, but it's got some thickness to it because of the puree. So I'm actually... Uh, quite impressed with the thickness by and I could kind of tell when I poured it out it was say it was quite dense and compact so I did spot that but uh yeah I'm actually quite impressed by the thickness of the drink I know it actually tastes really nice I mean it's nice and smooth I literally cannot taste the bits or anything like that yeah it is really nice but in terms of what the actual flavor is of the drink well again yes it's it is a mix of fruit and exotic flavors put together. But I find most exotic or tropical fruit blends or drink juices, and I've said this before and I'm saying it again now, they generally lean to more towards the pineapple side or the mango side because they are just a much more powerful fruit compared to other fruits. So generally most smoothies stuff will, ever end, will always end up one of kind of one or four flavors. You know, if you, if you chuck a banana in it, then it's pretty much gonna taste a banana. You know, if you chuck something else in it, it's got a taste of that so to be fair yes it has got a pineapple taste but there's definitely background taste there of the other flavors now to be fair you know i can't taste the lime at all i can't taste the orange at all or anything like that if anything it's a pineapple with a i'll take with, with a mango pineapple and mango for the most part is what you know is what you're getting for the most flavors because again what we got again we got guava guava mango pineapple orange passion fruit so yeah you can't taste the lime you can't taste the orange or anything it's Definitely the pineapple and the mango, maybe with a slight guava in there, but for the most part, you know, they're the two strong flavors in this drink. But yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. It is literally a smoothie. Um, I mean, it's not one of your five a day. You think it would be, but again, it's, because it's from Concentrate, it's not actually, you know, from Concentrate means it's not the pure, real squeeze stuff. So I guess that's why it's not one of your five a day. But as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it's, um, maybe I'll pick up some of these other tropical rhythms now and they're, Give them a try now i know they're not you know just just a liquid drink they're actually somewhat smoothie based so it's a puree based shall i say so yeah quite impressed with that mm. i mean i will finish that probably over two days because of the sugar in it but yeah that, that's nice mm. yeah quite impressed with that guys so you know what i'll definitely give that a thumbs up so as always viewers if you have tried that drink let me know in the comments below and as always you can check the description of this video you can follow me on tiktok instagram or twitter or if you want to support my channel you can check out my patreon minimum support is one pound and i'll go towards new drinks which means new videos for the channel so as always i will see you all later